Hi, I'm Carrie, and I just got done watching the Remix Manifesto. Um, I really enjoyed this video. I really like that it brought up a controversial issue that seems like it's making headlines every other day um, with music and downloading. Um, I have to say I'm on both fences. I really like how they showed both points of view, you know, how it's, you know, we are really stealing from the artists by downloading music for free, but also how you know, the internet has become so creative and so widespread, and that copyright line has been blurred, you know, and I, I really liked both sides of the, you know, spectrum of the argument, and I really felt after watching it, I felt more informed about the issue, even though I still can't seem to pick a side that I'm really on, a part of me thinks, well, you know, it should be free, but at the same time, the artists do lose out, you know, on a lot of money by people downloading music for free. But it is nice that we have these avenues where we can, you know, see different music, hear different music online, even without downloading, before the CD comes out. Something that, you know, four or five years ago we never had. So I thought it was very interesting. But I like to talk about the actual video itself. Um, just the way it was created. Um, showing different clips of different videos we've seen on YouTube and um, I like how they this band called Girl Talk um, remixes different songs and to hear some of the different songs that they have mixed together I thought was really really interesting I thought that was really unique and talented I mean to take two different songs and mix them and intertwine them together and make it work where it sounds like really good was really surprising to me because to even think about that. I, I couldn't even begin to figure out how to do that. I thought it was really interesting that you are following this band called Girl Talk, but you're also, there's a moral or lesson to the video in a sense that, you know, there is this argument behind it, like, is what they're doing Girl Talk, is that, you know, illegal? Is it wrong? And I found what was interesting probably was that they showed some of the people that have um, downloaded illegally, um, you know, that gotten fined hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars and the one mother who is a single mom and her kids and she owes she only downloaded 24 songs and I just thought that was so sad because like here she is she doesn't she lives in a trailer like you can tell she doesn't make that much money and she's a single mom trying to raise her kids and she downloaded 24 songs and she's penalized all this just felt like it's a little harsh what um they're charging people for for this that's one thing I'll have to agree with the video like if you're going to charge people for downloading illegally Maybe make it a little less harsh, especially this woman. I mean, you could tell she was an honest person and, you know, she's just trying to raise her kids and, you know, she downloaded 24 songs. That was it. And it, it's a shame. But I like how that, that these, you show different scenarios like the kids in Washington, D.C. And I think it was a congressman or senator saying, you know, do you know that you're stealing? And people, some of the kids were like, uh, I didn't raise their hand because they don't think they're stealing when they're downloading songs illegally. Like these different stories intertwine with this band Girl Talk and their, you know, how they became a, you know, this band and remixing different songs and stuff, I thought was really interesting. I thought overall, it really did keep your attention throughout the story um, and the video itself. Thank you.